it is toasty out here. Uh, I think everybody, we're in kind of a heat wave. We haven't had rain for quite a few days. Everything's dry. Grass is starting to die. The uh, driveway is 134.9. That's the highest. Oh, actually, the highest was 135.5. And in your bare feet, it burns. So Augie's going to run around the yard a little bit. But I have something to actually show you. So Saturday, I went and helped that ham with his antenna. Uh, getting his antennas off the roof and um, he's a member of our club and we happen to be talking about he has a Yagi he had a Yagi on his roof a two element Yagi and then a dipole for six meters and I mentioned you know how you know using the Yagi that we have on the trailer and he said oh do you want a new boom for that for that antenna and I said yeah so he had a he had a boom. His old antenna, this uh, Mosley Classic 33, broke years ago, um, but the boom was still good. Our antenna, everything is good, but our boom was mangled. So our boom is actually sleeved with another pipe, where it cracked. And uh, I'm trying to see which end it was. It's down at that end, and I'll sh I'll show you that better here in a minute. But it was cracked. They put another pipe in it to um, reinforce where it cracked. I think it literally like broke in half. And um, so our boom is heavier. And now I have a clean new boom with uh, the hardware on it. Uh, so I need to move this pole over to there, strip some of this off, maybe cut that in half and get that ready to go to the scrap yard. Um, but yeah so i can do that i mean this is a little dirty but i mean we all know how those things clean up pretty easily so i'm gonna pull this out stay in the shade and uh see what i can get done okay so here's where our boom um what i was told is the <laughs> the tower was actually coming down and it free spooled and literally just like drove into the ground so this is what was done to repair it you can see the bolts there, but yeah, that was pretty cracked. So they they sleeved it with some other piping and made this side of the boom heavy. Um, these are the same lengths. There's some dents on the end where they're over cranking the um, Yagi elements. The elements for the Yagi, they're tightening, tight, putting them on a little too tight and it's creasing those. But so I need to take see if I can't get this centerpiece off and uh, I mean I, I might have another piece of pipe I could use but uh, yeah we're gonna try to take that off and then that goes into the rotator and the Yagi gets mounted up on the boom like that so I am going to see if I can't get that accomplished oh. Yeah, those are nasty. These ones are nice and those ones are good, but these ones I could probably just cut this off. Because I think this is Is it moving? Feel my hand there. Oh. 
It moved. That's a pretty hefty piece of pipe. I wonder if we need something that hefty. Um, those probably aren't worth saving, but these, these pieces here, these angled pieces, um, I think I'm going to want. So, uh, that's these ones. So, looks, uh, that bracket's in the way. This antenna wasn't kept outside. I think it just, well, it was actually outside. It wasn't up, but it was outside. Bam. I really just want those pieces and this one. That's all I really want. Yeah, yeah I want those. I'm missing, I don't have them for that, so, um, should take this off. I put these on last year. These are from DX Engineering. So now, pull this over here. Yeah, that'll be good. Stay here, bud. Stay here, man. I need to move. I decided to scrub this down a little bit. It was dirtier than I thought it was, so. I'm going to scrub off the new boom um, before I put my marking tape on. I have the old boom next to it, and I want to put the tape back in the same spots because that's where I had the antenna adjusted. I kind of color coded it, so uh, I want to do that again, but uh, it's dirty. We should just trade this whole thing for a uh, buddy pull, buddy hex. <laughs> it seems, I think that'd make a lot more sense. <laughs> but, oh. It's a classic. Well, that should be good enough. I at least knocked the dirt off of it. That water's pretty gross. Um, but at least you won't get too dirty handling it again. So 
just by looking at the marks that are on this from where the old antenna was, where the old booms was, whoever put this together, there's a mark here and one on that end and then one on that end, which means this pipe has to turn around. So, line up my center. So yeah, here's my tape. I'll put my red tape there, my piece of black tape down there, and my piece of white tape up there to let me know where the booms go. Now the end, the far end of this pipe has a pretty good dent in it. Um, like it was really, it was really cranked down um, when they clamped that on there. Um, at least it's still got the end caps on both ends, but yeah, that was really clamped down on there. But uh, ours has a dent in it too, just not as bad, but uh, like I said, our beam was cracked. So I guess better to have the, uh, the new beam. So let me show you what we got going on. Since we put this antenna up and down uh, a lot, um, the there this flat bracket has to mount to the beam and we always had trouble getting it lined up just just so 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 what i did is i made this little metal plate you know uh super cheap um some old scrap i had and what we do is bolt this down to this um using some u-bolts do, do, do. Let me make sure these U-bolts are the right size. Yepers. Yepers. So, and I've got more wedge pieces. So I can put this here, and then we'll be able to set that boom down on top of this and put this all into place, which will be nice. Let me get these little bracket pieces. I'm just going to stand this up, slip this down, I'm going to have to put a washer or something in there because those bolts aren't as tall or find more of those bolts, but those are stainless, so. Um, probably should get a level. Try to level all this. Uh, uh, uh. This might be hard to do by myself, but. So if I can hold that level. Let's put this back on. Make sure I got my spacing right. Let's just see if I can't get this one level with that one. Uh, I did say I needed some washers. Son of a gun. Uh, I've got the, the pole mounted that goes into the rotator. And I've got these two little brackets on here. And the reason, like I said, to do this is to make it easy. You take this with the plate I made. And you drop it on. And then you bolt this down and that gives you the level for the other two booms. So I just need to put my little bit of red tape here and my tape on the boom. Um, and in my kit for the antenna, I have the bolts that go on top of this to pin this down, keep it from wobble, you know, to hold that in place. But uh, it makes the putting this antenna together in the field a lot quicker than trying to, the way it was done before, there were straps that went through here and it hooked on the bottom uh, and it was a big pain and then you had to get this level before you put it up we put it up the one time and the the yagi was crooked and it was just uh didn't look good so let me just check this again let me get this level 
as level as I can. That's pretty level. Try to hold it still until I get up here on this plate. And it's not bad. I I would like, like it's on this trailer for field day. Uh, and that's about it. We really haven't done anything else with it. And since it's here at the house, I really would like to put a pole in the ground that I could take this out and set the Yagi on it and use it here at the house now and then. Um, I have plenty of room to set it down over there or even up on this upper section of my property, maybe, and put it up there and then actually be able to use this. And uh, I set it up on buckets one time in a driveway and it actually was working pretty well. Because uh, uh, I am at a pretty high spot here, so I have a, a pretty good takeoff angle. Um, but yeah, I'd love to put a pole in the ground that I could put this on and maybe even clamp, not necessarily clamp the rotator on because I don't think I would use it. I just want this that I can just point this east and try to make some contacts off of it. Um, and if I wanted to, I could manually come out and just rotate it a little bit by hand. But we'll see. We'll see if I, uh, if I can accomplish that sometime. Um, because once this antenna is together, it's not that heavy and actually should be a little bit lighter now. Um, but I think it, I want to say it was like 35 pounds or something like that. I don't think it's that heavy. I mean, yeah, all, all the, the elements are actually pretty light. So this is probably the heaviest part. This, this piece right here is actually the heaviest part. Um, but I mean, I could pick it up and put it on something over my head without any trouble. But yeah, so now we have a new boom or a new to us boom for the uh, the antenna trailer. And I got to get that out and get it cleaned up too for a few day. But yeah. Hey, this is Tango Oscar Mike saying 73. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.